some experiments with what Blue found. Um, some weird ass out of bounds. Um, and then writing down like upgrade, like upgrade costs, and then what to upgrade, when to upgrade. Like kind of like an upgrade guide. I'm gonna actually just turn this music down. Actually, I'm just gonna pause it entirely. I don't even want to listen to it, to be honest. My name is Adur, a good wizard serving in the court of the righteous King Hugo. You have joined Hopefully, this run can go at least a tiny bit better. Avantia is under siege. The dark wizard Malvel has cursed four of the legendary beasts. That have protected the kingdom for centuries. Under his nefarious evil spells, these mighty creatures now run wild, causing all manner of chaos and leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Inferno, the fire dragon, Arcta, the mountain giant. Nanook I think I want to run this, right? I'm going to say this, it's not confirmed. I'm going to run this. For this week, try and get the any percent record. All of King Hugo's um, to free the beasts from Malvel's and then, but whilst I'm not running, I'm looking at rooting 100% or all achievements. A boy with the courage and heart to overcome Malvel's dark magic, free the beasts, and ultimately save the kingdom. I don't, the problem with this game is I don't know how to 100% this game. This is his beast quest. That's my issue, is I don't actually know. I don't actually know what the 100% is. I'm guessing it's... I'm guessing it's all side quests. <coughs> all main quests, all side quests. All... All side quests, all main quests, all keys, chests, items, like clothing, all allies, max upgrades, maximum amount of inventory slot. But I'll go through and then maybe... Maybe we could try and get a decent 100% time. I'm terribly sorry about earlier. It was a okay, that's nice. <coughs> Something that's always nice in the tutorial is you need at least one of those um you need at least one of those swings to do 10 damage. Otherwise, that wolf takes three hits to kill. It's kind of sad that the ghost wolf is only seen however many times. I'd like to mention this tutorial is already going a lot better. Some enemies have special powers. Use everything that you have just learned to defeat the ghost. What? No, 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 no. What? Well, screw what I just said. That could have been really, really good, but for some reason I accidentally hit the fucking shoulder button. Which just lost me, like, all my fucking time save. That's so bullshit. That is actual just straight up bullshit, man. That was just... 
kind of pissed. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta remember that there's like a minute at the end of the run. <laughs> At the end of the run, there is over one minute of time save. So as long as I'm not plus, like, two coming out of the, the area, we should actually just be all good to go in continuing the run. Preferably, I don't... I want to have a maximum of plus, like, minute 20 at most. Preferably, I don't go past a minute 10. Though, who's to say? Also, I want to get as many flawless as possible. I say that and immediately get hit. Nice. <coughs> Thanks, game. I could submit this to Longathon, really. If I really wanted to. If I could get, like, any percent and 100 percent. If I could get a decent any percent and 100 percent run, and I remember the route. I could showcase, maybe. Like, maybe I could submit? I don't really know. I'm always going back on my submissions, though. Like, I had Supercharger's Hundo, because I was going to learn that, and I just had to put in a filler one. I had Galarian Star Tournament that I wanted to do. I've currently got Imaginators that I don't want to do anymore. Oh, my last split, uh, sub split still says Epos. Whoops. <laughs> it should not say Epos. It should say, um, what should it say? Stonewind Volcano. Hey, Tom, we didn't quest on an I feel like this game has the potential to be interesting. It's just no one's broken it enough. I currently have no grind on that I really want to do. So maybe I'll go for world record. And then either spend this next, my half term week. I'll either spend my half term week doing 100% or looking at breaking the shit out of any percent. One or the other would work. Because I feel like any percent has is holding so much. Because after what Blue did for his, his run, I feel like 100% has just so much that no one's been bothered to look for. At least that's what I think. Because even though I'm slowly doing it, eventually I want to try and push this game to as much as it can go. Dude, I mistimed it. Are you actually fucking joking me? Because... I feel like this game is good. I mean, normal gameplay-wise, it was received poorly. I don't think it's that good as, like, a casual game. 
Granted, I was like eight, so it was fine. Has decent, decent, decent length speed runs, and it's not the worst thing in the world. But no one likes it. So I feel like it could be really pushed. I feel like this game has so much interesting stuff that we just haven't discovered. And no one wants to discover. Because with how poorly this game was made, like, this game was horrifically made. Like, there's bound to be something really broken shit in there. The next fight we should be able to get a medium attack. Or not a medium attack. Shit. Uh, I already thought I brought the small attack and I haven't. Uh, before the next triple... The next triple bandits will buy the small attack. For for spiders, it's not that big of an issue. As for spiders, it doesn't. It's practic practically useless in the spiders. I have been tempted to look into buying the small damage boost. However, I'm aware that it probably won't do much. Because it doesn't it doesn't progress the damage like me being able to buy a big damage boost. It doesn't progress that at all. So I'm not tempted to try it because I'm feeling like short term it would be worth it, long term it won't. And long term, I mean, what the fuck? Really? For this run, the getting multiple big damage boosts as quickly as possible is much more worth it than getting the small damage boosts at the start. Like, they don't mean much. Oh, I don't actually have Eleanor yet. Please give me Eleanor. That's so dumb. I'm like three hits away. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. <coughs> oh, wait. No, now I fucking... And I wasted my... I need to use that potion. <laughs> I need to use a potion. <laughs> really? I'm also pretty sure you can't uh, quick climb up that wall. And also the fact that these damage boosts aren't too big for spiders. I don't have to check on that wall what my damage thing is. I can kind of just check. Because remembering to check at the end of fights is really important. The fu- okay, well, you just immediately took my flawless from me. Did- I waited because he's the main reason why we even do these normal attack- uh, these slash attacks. Because- Oh, really? Okay, now that he's dead, we're fine. Fine, we saved it. We saved it. Right, now is the moment of truth of did I pick up a fucking key? I did pick up a key. It's slow menuing, but that's fine. I saw many gold keys, and I don't know if I picked them up. <laughs> I think I counted four. 
I thought there was four. However, there could be three. But no, I'm pretty sure it's four. Um, silver key. I know that there's a chest that Rackwood picks up. However, I don't think it's going to be that useful. I can't remember the last time I picked it up, personally. Oh, dude, there's so much of Stonewind that you can practice that I just haven't practiced. <laughs> I know there's like a bunch of shortcuts you can take in Stonewind that I just have completely forgotten about. I feel like it could come back to bite me in the butt cheeks. I feel like it's a lot faster to just jump down from there. Because then you don't have to worry about slowly clambering down the hill. It's just one big go down. I remember this saved me a lot of time the first time around. Um, like learning how to do these blocks properly. Uh, okay, do I actually have 50 now? I don't. I have 39, meaning that I'm not going to have a medium boost for this golem. Which is... It's fine. Oh, crap. I find it kind of funny... Um, that when I look back on some of my, or when I think back on some of my old runs in even just any game that I used to speedrun on how any red would make me so demoralized. For example, if I speedran Mario Wonder um, Special X, if I was like plus point two, I would be demoralized to continue. Or even just plus two, which is funny because like, being plus two isn't bad. Being plus two is not bad. Especially in, like, Wonder. Oh, really? I'm not wasting it. Being plus two in Mario Wonder is, like, really good. I still... Silver? Is that how I say it? Welcome to stream. Cute Lachon came up. Love to see it. Yep, okay. That is good to know. Right, please I have Eleanor. Okay. At least I have Eleanor. It would be nice to get flawless this fight. Alright, and that's when I use it. How am I doing? I'm doing very well. Just, I haven't touched this game in months, and I felt, why not? So we are here, playing it today. Trying to get world record. Because I've had so many runs that I've been on world record pace right up until the last three or four minutes, and then died. If you look at my PB on speedrun.com. On speedrun.com, I was... A minute and a half ahead up until about the hour and 15, hour and 20 mark. And then I lose a minute and a half. So, very demoralizing. Yep, very crazy. But trying to beat the four-year-old world record of this game. I like to think I have. Though with how often I mess up, I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, I could probably get that upgrade now, actually. I should have checked last fight. It would speed this up so much. I'm getting so much unnecessary time loss if I can. Yep, okay. Honestly, it might be fastest to just go into the quests tab and scroll with um, the shoulder buttons. Because going down on the joystick is not that comfortable. And I feel like it's slowing me down. There's some support. That is a very cute emote. A very cute emote. I appreciate the support. I just gotta get not get demotivated when I'm a minute behind. Uh, I'm gonna go slow here. Okay. <laughs> Very much right. I feel like could I use Eleanor on that triple bird fight that's coming up? I don't know if I would need to, but I feel like I could. Although, I don't think there's any fights past that point, apart from one bird, and you wouldn't get Eleanor back in time. I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's worth the risk, because I think it's just one single bird fight after that, which would get me nothing. Just do it. I could just do it. Oh. I don't know if... I would, I don't think it would work, and even if I did, it would lose me a lot of time if I don't get her back in time. And if there's only one fight, I don't think it's good enough. Please be nice, please be nice. Thank you. That's annoying. Okay, please let me get a full swing off. No, no mind. That's fine. Really? Okay, that was going fine until they all came at me at once. Which is not helpful. Something I've learned is that some... If we didn't get... Um, points for visiting the next area... Um, we would not be getting as much damage which is crazy to think about because you get points for visiting or for beating a beast and then one for visiting the new area which if you didn't then you would you would not get i think the second or even third damage boost imagining bullied by some crow i've been bullied by these crows quite a bit i've had worse fights where they all just keep swarming me and then I have to do way too many swings. That's honestly probably one of the better fights for that. It's also uh, something I learned is really annoying. That for, I think, beating Arcta, I think. Or for one of the quests around Area 3. Um... It's broken and you don't get the extra points for it. I think. You don't actually get the AP. Also, thanks for the follow. We are, I think, two followers away from 100 now. I think. Um, okay, this is, this is an okay fight, I think. No, not okay fight, okay time. This is definitely an okay fight. I'm currently ahead of PB. Being ahead of PB Inferno is not... Not happening very often. So I don't have to worry about... Not taking damage this fight, because I don't think you get extra AP anyway for a fight like this. And this is where Eleanor comes in. Wait till he goes in the air, so it resets him, and I don't have to take damage. Small optimizations are key. 
And he does the longer one anyway. Oh, really? Can you do a ground attack, please? It would be greatly appreciated if you could do a ground attack. Thank you. Really? Oh my god, what is this luck? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I just need to focus for two seconds. Yeah, I've never seen this guy named Luck. Who who's this luck you speak of? <coughs> okay, this should be B and then Y for the quick time event. I'm trying to remember. I think it's B then Y. B for the shield and then Y to put the key in. Okay. Thirty three ahead. That's fifty points, and then when we get to the icy plains, um, we'll get another fifty AP, meaning that we can afford the high damage boost. <laughs> if I'm talking to myself, it's because I'm trying to remember the route, because I don't have it written down anywhere, and. I am not very good at remembering it. I've never bothered. Actually, I have tried to write the route for this game, but I've never been bothered to finish it. Which I definitely need to write it down. Yeah, I usually do talk to myself quite a bit for some reason. I don't know why. I talk to myself a lot, um, especially when I'm doing the longer categories in games. Yes, brain does brain better. Uh, I'm just going to do this. The brain does brain better, I feel, when I'm talking to myself. But it usually stems from when I'm doing the 12 hour categories. So it usually ends up being me talking to myself for like 12 hours. Which is... Sad, I guess. Okay. Unlike last attempt, I don't need to fight these dragons. I can jump up here. Can you? And then I shouldn't have Eleanor. Which for some reason I had last time. Oh, I'm very close to having Eleanor. You know what? I will use Eleanor now. I don't know if that has a negative effect at some point. So this is going to be wrong, because my PB doesn't have Eleanor here. So it says I'm a minute ahead, which I am. However, my PB doesn't end up having Eleanor because I use her too late in the Ferno fight and don't get her back in time. Which honestly could mean that this could actually be genuine time save. Because it is being able to be recreatable. I should have written world record down on stream somewhere. Um, for reference, uh, world record is 122.10. World record is 15 seconds faster than my PB.
Yes, 120 to 10. And in my PB, right up until about the 1, 15, one hour 15 mark, I was on a 120 something pace. A minute and 15 ahead. Oh, that's so dumb. Okay, well, I don't get the flawless, but that's fine. Uh, I go straight here, right? No, I don't. That's annoying. It's fine. Something I've learned when I run this game is running categories l like 12 hours. They don't feel that long. But when I run the categories that are an hour and a half, they kind of feel longer. The only time that I've ever felt 12 hour speedruns to be long is when someone told me that that's uh, the same length or the average length of someone's work, uh, work day. Yeah, I feel like I'm counting down the time in a run that's only like an hour and a half. I feel like I'm counting down the time for it to be lowered or whatever. Um, I don't remember if I get another medium upgrade or if I wait till the end of area two and get the um try and get another big upgrade. <coughs> I don't remember the notes. I do. The main thing that I've done on this channel is speedrunning. It's kind of the only thing I do on this channel. It's mainly Pokemon speedrunning. However, I do do a few other games. For example, Skylanders, mainly this game. That's basically it. But Pokemon is hard. Find a fairy that plays Pokemon. I know one other person, uh, another fairy that plays Pokemon. They also speed run it, but it's only the Legends Arceus games. Other than that, he plays multi Mario. But I now that I think about it, I don't really, I don't really know anyone else. Very hype. You do know one. Okay, this is where the run died last time. Because my model didn't load in. And I got soft locked. I got soft locked and the only way to leave was through closing the game. Oh, really? I actually got hit there. I'm gonna do this because. Nanook is scary. She's very violent. Okay. Uh, what is called skill? Sorry, I lost focus for the past 20 seconds. Ooh. God, she is scary, man. This fight is kind of scary. I'm pretty sure the next section isn't that far away, or the next fight. So I don't use Elena anywhere else. I've not really rooted anywhere else to use Elena, where I can safely get her back. I was soft-locking myself. It was definitely a skill issue. My bad, my bad. I didn't code in the game properly. This game was coded so badly, though. Hmm. 
You know what, I'll take it. I mean, I've lost so many record pace runs to skill issues. We can add a few more. Like that one time where I lost a minute because the cutscene, the skip cutscene button wouldn't load. That one time where I fell out of bounds because I fell off the edge of a cliff. And I loaded the Windows 96 image in the background. <laughs> I don't think I can climb this one. No. Really? If only this game had better budgeting. Maybe then we'd actually have some people speedrunning it. To be fair, I'm actually fine with having competition all to myself. I don't have to worry about someone taking a world record from me. And then forcing myself to play to get it back. Okay, if uh, getting to the Northern Mountains actually works and I do get the XP from it, then we could potentially have a second high damage boost going into the first um, fight for Area 3. Which is nice because then every fight after is really fast. Because in Area 3, the section's only 20 minutes, but 13 of those minutes are spent on the first fight. So that says something. Please. Yep. I actually wasn't expecting to make it up there. Oh, I actually don't remember where to go. Please guide me, game. Okay, now I do know where to go. I'm really scared for Area 4 because that area actually has some mechanics that and shortcuts that I don't fully remember. I feel like if I was to use um, if I was to use Eleanor somewhere in between, like, I guess specifically Nanook 2 where I get the ability and to number 3 and then still have it for 3, it would have to be a really early triple fight. I don't think I have to fight this, right? I don't think there are many, though. If any, to be honest. <laughs> I lost. Cheetah, I'm not cheating. They they let me, they let me run around it. Um, I guess probably not intended, but you know, should have made it more narrow. I think I think because of all this enemy skipping, we need to split the boards. We need to get a glitchless category. Though I don't know how that would work, though. Because then I'd have to try and <laughs> figure out what's considered a skipped enemy or not. And I'm the only active moderator for this game, so it would have to be me. Not that anyone runs this that I have to worry anyway. Which is good. Take that, vile spider insect creature. Usually it's like one run every year. 
or if I run it, not including me, it's maybe one run a year, maybe one run every four years, maybe. Before I started running, the last run was four years ago. This could work. Okay, now I have to fight her without a shield, which is kind of scary, kind of not. Um, okay. We can try this. Okay, that's fast, I guess. That works. I'll take that. Um, then I also want to change my ally to Nanook. I want to change my ally to her after this fight. Because I'm 90% sure that she does really, really well against the next boss. Okay. Oh, we get 100 from that? Okay, I'm going to... And then just buy that. <coughs> okay, so we got that now. <laughs> I thought it was only fifty from this neck from this task, but no, it's a hundred. I don't have to worry about upgrades for a while. Ring ring on the shield. Okay, that campfire is necessary. Because I need to teleport back to that later. That's the only... There's only one teleport in the entire run. And that's it. Because that saves me like a minute and a half. After area three. Because I don't have to... Do the little... Uh, epilogue for area three. Commit arson and boom, done with the arena. Yeah, I'd also be protected because of the the blue thing on my shield, the scale, that protects me from flames. Unfortunately, I've read most of the book series of this game, so my knowledge is. Sad. I own way too many books of Beast Quest. That's one of the reasons why this game is really bad. Because it's based off of a book series. So the budgeting is not that great. That's the first time I've heard someone say that to me. I'm glad someone else has read it. <laughs> So chapter 48, excuse me, what does that mean? I haven't, I've only read the first 10 series. And then I skipped because for Christmas one year I got series 14 through 18. And then I have the odd books from what not. I think I have one from 19, one from 22, the first two from 24, I think, or 26 it might be. I need to stop reading those books again. Though trying to find a complete series is really hard. <laughs> or finding the old series is kind of hard. I also don't really remember the story of the first 10 series, apart from series 1. That's 100. So now I shouldn't have to worry. I'm not going to worry about upgrades till Arcta. Probably till we get into Stonewind.
So then we can get another big upgrade. The book series? Chapter... You meant the book series, so I'm assuming book 48. Because they used to do two different types of covers, and one was just all of the books combined. And then one was just, it says the series and book. Um, what was book 48? That was in, I think, series 12? So, not the, not the dragon one. It's the one after... Is it the one before the dragon? I don't remember which one it is. I think the name was Isrilla. I think that one's like... 52. The Griffin one, I think, was 49. Oh, that one. Oh, no, because 60... I think 9 was the Isrilla one. No, that one's series 8. No, I'm stupid. I was way off. That one's series 8, book 8. Or 6. I think there's 6 books in a series. Series 12 was books... 62 to 70, I think. Yeah, me reading them was kind of all over the place because I had so many missing gaps. But the only series, the only big chunk that I've read is series one through ten, and then fourteen through eighteen. But I think there's some good books, you know. I think the books are good. I think this game is not, though. <laughs> this game is not it. I just speedrun it because... Because easy. I don't know. I like Beast Quest. And there's a game, so... I mean... Why not? It's just gonna sit on my bookshelf. Exactly. At least there is a game. It's not the greatest thing, but... I'd say it's better than most movie video game adaptations. Oh, that is... I was not expecting him to go straight in with an attack. I didn't know he could go straight in with an attack. Okay. Is it worth me waiting? I think it's definitely worth me waiting for... Another high damage boost. Because I'll get 100 from... I know one of these challenges are rigged and I don't get the points for them. I think. Unless I can't do math. Which I'm pretty sure I can do math. I'd like to think I can do math. Okay, we got a nuke. I think it's Nanook that's really strong. It might not be, though. I think you use Nanook for Arcta, and then you swap to Arcta for... Um, you swap to Arcta for Epos, I think. Yeah, no math today. My brain is not ready for math. I don't think I have to fight this guy, but it's... Not worth fleeing and trying to figure that one out. It's this way, right? No, it's that way. Great. It's not worth my time. I'll figure it out. It won't lose the most amount of time in the world if I don't go for a medium upgrade. Because the realistic... Realistically, the only thing that really matters is the big upgrades. Because otherwise, it would take way too long to kill these golems. 
And it's not worth my time. It do be the flying tome. We've not even got the ability to fly yet, and he's already doing the thing. He is cheating. He's doing early. We might have enough points straight after Arctur, I think. Unless that's the unless that's the challenge that's rigged and I don't get the points for it. We should have enough for the final high damage upgrade. <coughs> okay. This is the first big break of the run. Um there is one more section of just talking in area four. Uh, I'm gonna take just a quick like 30 second break. He showed a strong natural ability with magic. And so I took him in as my apprentice. At, at first, the Malvo proved to be a strong student. His success with magic fed his desire for purpose, which drove him to seek out more and more powerful forms of magic to command. That's when he discovered the dark magic. That's when the experiments began. Melville would curse and enchant woodland creatures in the hopes of making them respond to his command. And back. However, this break always feels nice. It's like still could not just over halfway in the run. You start to feel like you need a break. Word of the famous Thanks for the welcome back. This is a nice break, and then, because Stonewind's really scary, the break before Epos 1 is also really nice. So, I'm happy that these exist. Some people would cry because there's forced breaks. <laughs> I know many speedrunners don't like forced breaks. Even though I am more than happy to sit for 12 hours and do a run, I'm kind of happy that these breaks exist. <laughs> I don't think I need to fight you, but again... You are much faster to just kill than flee. I think from now on, if I run into anything accidental, it's probably better to just fight it. <coughs> Coming up on the first arc to fight, it's been 12 minutes, near enough. Over half the time, in fact, almost th two-thirds of the amount of time that this area takes to complete. is worth my it definitely is because I'm pretty sure Arctic or the nuke just completely kills him okay so we lost 10 seconds that split which is fine because that's a really long split it is very crazy damage It's very rare that I ever expect to save time on that split just because it is such um such a long split. It's the longest one in the run, I think. Maybe. It might not be, but it's probably But the good thing about this area now is that 
Oh god, that's always scary. Uh, the good thing about this area now is that it's very much really quick to um, just stomp through the rest of it. <coughs> also, those 10 seconds probably came from that extra skeleton. So it's not even like I played really bad. It was probably from... That's just playing really bad. Oh, no. Please. Thank you. That is... That was scary. That was playing bad at its core. I don't think I need to fight you, but... It's fine. This one I think I do. No, I don't. Okay. <coughs> okay, so we're coming to a goblin area now. This one can be quite scary to traverse. It's one of the scariest. And also the one place that I uh, forget quite a lot. Because dodging that fight specifically. Oh boy. I'm actually tempted in the boss fights to not try because the world record either got a glitch or just like some crazy luck. But they got a massive, massive damage boost on the ice thing, which I think I missed out on a ton of AP for, um, which could have been used for a crit chance boost. <coughs> but, um,. It lost me time from menuing, and I didn't even get a good damage boost in my PB. So, what I'm probably going to have to end up doing is... Um, probably end up doing it normally. Okay, that's fine. I didn't lose too much time there. Make sure this is the right way. Okay. Probably end up just doing it normally because then I don't lose time to menuing um, and the chance of me bluffing again with the damage boost. Because it one shot Epos in record, which I don't think it will do here. I think it was just a glitch. And if I can just keep this solid pace, because currently I'm a minute 12 above my PB, this is probably two or so minutes ahead of record. Because on top of what I'm ahead now, I'm probably about another minute and a half ahead of record on top of that. Which is nuts to think about. Because Record's main game is not the greatest. It just really picks up in Area 4. Dude, the actual Shaking Floor got me. That's the first time in forever where the Shaking Floor actually got me. It's so sad, but whatever, I guess. Bye. Bye bye, good pace. Oh, this is space. I thought it said pace. Yeah, okay. It was meant to say pace. This pace is still outstandingly good.
Like, I could make a really big mistake. And I feel like this pace could still be really good. Also, something that's really nice is that I now kill most things before they attack. So I'm getting a really good amount of um, flawless AP. I do have my ult back, which is very convenient. Right at the right time, because right there is the final fight for this area. It do be very convenient. This is also probably going to be the first time that I beat Area 3 in under an hour. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Just can't. Focus. Okay. Nice. Sabah. Can I? I can map. And it is here. I think. I think this is it. Let's go. It is a let's go moment. This is the right place. So now that we've teleported here, we save about a minute to not having to run through that little gliding tutorial section. Instead, we teleport straight here. And we can just run straight into Area 4. <coughs> this is a very scary moment, because I don't remember this area. And this area has some goofy movement. And this is where we do our final big upgrade track of the run. Um, uh, that'll do. Oh, find Taladon's armor. It will be the last one. I know, crazy gliding tutorial. Okay, so we got a big... We got two small boosts, I'm pretty sure. A medium boost and a big boost. So now the damage output is going to be stupid. I can jump on this rock to skip. I need to go around. So from here until Talonon's armor is going to be <coughs> quite chill. It's going to be quite a chill time, I think. And then after that, there's some, like, tiny shortcuts and skips that I'm just not that comfortable with. Okay, I will fight you, sure. The glider is more of a cheat item, yeah. <coughs> I don't think it's really used as a cheat item anywhere else. There was one time where I was thinking, because that little hub area that you have to teleport back to to come to this area, I was thinking if there's a way that you can get the game to spawn you in a weird place, because you can get the game to spawn you, you do it a few times for a few skips, um, where the game spawns you in the wrong position and you can skip things, for example, in the Forest of Fear at the start. If you jump into the river at a weird, like, position, um, you can get the game... You can get Tom to stand on a tiny, tiny piece of the river, like, in the water that's sticking out, which will set his respawn coordinates to under the river. And I was thinking you could potentially get that to happen um, before Arcta in that little area that you go to first to maybe skip an entire beast um the third one however i've never seen that work i tried it a bit and i never got it to work but if someone could get that to work um it would it could make getting uh, beating this game in under an hour possible which is quite cool 
it's just jumping in a way that could get the game to spawn you in the wrong spot. The problem is then though is if this area would be beatable because you wouldn't have the glider to then finish this area. So it's all a bit of my own speculation. Also just fun to note, torches aren't on the wall. The little things on the corners are more without collision. Most of the rocks don't have collision. Tom doesn't run on the floor when he's on the stairs. I feel like that triple skeleton fight would be mandatory if these little bits of the wall actually had collision. Okay, that goblin definitely seems faster without using the ability. Oh, also something that I would like to do. Um, I can do it after Taladon's armor, so I don't have to, um... To save me having to slow down and speed back up, I can do it in a stationary position. Um, I can swap my... Actually, no. I might keep it as Nanook, actually. I don't remember who the optimal character is for this area. I can't remember if it's Arc or Nanook. I'm going to risk it and keep it as the new, because I feel like that's the answer. And this is the second, like, minute dialogue. Oh. Took him to the caves of Stone Rim Volcano. Oh, God, my hands are starting to hurt now. <coughs> this game's a lot more needing of hands than Pokemon is. And made it his mission to discover everything there was to know about them. He became the master of the beasts. Then tragedy struck. I'd like to think that this runs actually been quite decent, apart from the fact that I, in the tutorial, messed up, which made me 10 seconds behind. It's been a decent run, overall. Okay, this is my final shopping spree. That's my last shopping spree of the run. This is not the right way. Yes, it is. <laughs> Losing time. And here we come to plus one. Almost. So I now have maximum damage, and I also have the extra crit, I guess. Yep. Right, that is phenomenal. I have the extra crit. It probably won't come in clutch, but I mean, I might as well spend the extra... 40, 50 AP that I have. If I get enough of them in a fight, it might get rid of a move that I need to do. Okay, Epos is always the scary one. Always want to try and have... Okay, not that scary this time. Fight 2 is probably the most scary of them all. Fight 2 is probably the most scary fight. Because, oh, I don't know, Fight 3 is also quite scary though. <laughs> if 
from here on out, though, you always want to try and make sure you have three potions for your boss, just because it can get rough. You miss one wrong input, and next thing you know, next thing you know, you're trying to heal, you can't, and then you're stuck in a stunlock of getting hit but needing to heal, so not being able to block, and it's it's an iffy situation. Okay, I think I can make this. So for the rest of these EPOS fights, it's not a very... Oh my god, how did I not have to fight that? <coughs> for the rest of the EPOS fights, it's not a very good situation to get hit. However, I'm aware that it might not matter and I might still just die anyway. This is, yeah, this is probably the one point. That's dumb. I don't have to fight you. This is probably the one area where skill really comes into play. This is one area where skill really starts to show. The big reason why I'm not getting angry at these silly mistakes like I usually would is that I know that there's a ton of time save in um, this next split. If I can play well, there's probably a solid minute. Um, it's the main reason why I lost record last run was to... Um, um, what's it called? The main reason why I lost last run... Was also to... Damn it, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> getting stuck in a stun lock of I need to heal. But when I heal, I'm getting hit. So I'm going until death, basically. So not only did I take forever to die. I also... Well, died. Which is... Really... <laughs> so... It's dumb. It's one simple error. Which is losing me a ton of time. I did call it. I, I do make I do make some dumb mistakes. The mistakes in these games are usually funny. <laughs> they they're a lot more funny than other games. Uh I don't remember which way to go, it's that way I think, right? Yep. I'm actually kind of wondering, could this be a 119 pace? If this doesn't 119, I don't know if I can be bothered to attempt with the current route. I might have to, if I want a 119, I might have to look at other things that people or someone found when they were doing beat Furno runs. So, we'll, we'll see. No, that is that is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Also, failing in this game is scary. Like, n not hitting specific things. Because the game could very easily break. Like, that's fine. When I say very easily break, I mean, like, very easily. <laughs> I don't get in a nuke straight away. I don't think I get in a nuke. I'm not too sure. Okay, this is the big one. This is the really scary one. I'm not full HP, which is not the greatest. Oh, I am full HP. Oh, because I just hit the thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Okay, th those die. Now 
the nuke. Oh my god. Please, the nuke. Please be nice to me. Please kill your boss. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now this is where my heart starts to pick up a beat because there's only really one thing that's <laughs> stopping me. And, um. Yeah, my heart is kind of racing right now because this could this could be it. I'm not saying it is it, but it could be. I didn't die. Honestly, that fight went kind of well. Don't panic. I will do my best. Though it's been a while. Uh, I don't actually know where to go. Okay, that was it. That way. It's been a while since I've been in this type of situation. Where I haven't had a good run and then die. Because I also had the Nanook. I had the Nanook, uh, Elena, which does not happen very often. I need at least one more health potion for this last e boss fight, just to be really safe. It's kind of annoying that I got hit there, but it's it's fine. I may also be saving tiny bits of time. I'm either saving or losing tiny bits of time to not using the like extra attack speed boost where I don't need to. Because I don't think I need to use it. There's some fights where I'm using it where I don't think I need to. Or I was. So I'm trying to not... But we'll see. Like, I think, realistically, the only fights where I may need to are golem fights. <coughs> um, that's annoying. Please give me a health potion. Please give me... Um, the reason why it might be slower is... I feel like it's slower... I feel like I would have finished the fight normally... With normal attack speed. Um, before the animation for getting the speed boost actually finishes. Even if I don't have to fight this, I'm going to anyway. Just want to make sure I get this third health potion. Dude. I really want this third health potion. <laughs> it's... It's not necessary... But it is highly recommended, at least for my skill. I wouldn't even be mad if there was one more mandatory fight. Can I skip? I can. This is probably the last chance. This golem is... Probably the last chance. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm feeling a lot more rested knowing that I have the maximum amount of potions I can get. At least in any percent. Also, I would like to warn now, um, at the end of the run, there may be some <coughs> uh, lagging issues. Um, quite a few runs that I've done recently, or well, not recently, but quite a few runs that I PB'd on, um, it lags for the last like 20 seconds of the run.
and I just want to point that out now before I... It might not lag. Like, it actually just could not. But I won't remember to say it, or I will be too focused to say it. I don't remember if I actually have a Nanook or not. I don't. I don't even have close to Nanook. This fight, I think, can be easier because there's no birds that spawn. I'm just going to play it safe. We might have to go into a second phase here. Oh, I don't think this is a 119, but it is a good run anyways. This is what I wanted. If I just don't mess this up. This might be like a 120 um, 3x. Oh, one twenty oh one, really? One twenty oh one. You are, I don't even care. <laughs> Finally, world record. Oh my god! It's <laughs> finally, man. And the sixty nine, just to top it off. Oh my god! It actually happened. Oh my god. I don't even care that that wasn't a 119. That run was good. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is the first Beast Quest any percent world record in four years. The first time in four years someone has beaten the 122 10. Oh, God. I actually wasn't expecting a world record today. I was expecting to have a few bad runs, reset, and get bored. Are you alright? I'm so sorry. I failed. Epos is dead. I've let That's everybody down. That is 2 minutes and 14 seconds faster than a world record. And, go straight into and what now? Well, if I decide to continue with this game, um, there's a few things in any percent that I want to have a look at. Um, for example, there's something I think saves like a minute, I think, um, that someone did in the Beat Furno speedrun. I think. I don't know if it's viable for any percent. I will have to have a look. But that's something that I need to look at. There's a few more things that I could look at. Try and bring it down. Um, I will have a look. I'm not too sure. Um, and... I also want to have a look at 100% at one point. Um, which is like a 8 odd hour category or something. But that's if I decide to continue with this game. Also, I think that stuff that works if it does it's probably like two to three minutes not one so there is a lot of things that could save time if i can find a decent amount of things maybe like 114 could be a thing but that was the run that run has probably been the best run that i've ever done going into epos 2 Oh, dude, it feels great to finally have that record, man.
I've probably been the person to run this game the most. to do another run or something. I will have a check in a second. I need to check. Did I get a Beat Furno PB? I did. I got a Beat Furno PB by 20 seconds, according to speedrun.com. First record in four years. Is quite the achievement. <laughs> I remember one guy, um, Kerfmurf, that added me to the added me to the mod team. I don't remember how long ago it was. I can check on my profile. I'm pretty sure. He added me to the mod team quite a while ago, man. It was quite a while ago. At least a few years ago. Probably two or three at this point. It was around the time, actually, that I verified those two 100% runs. So probably about two years ago. And I said that I was going to get a record. And look at that. Two years later. <laughs> Two years later. Um. Let's see if I, I might just message them for funsies just to see. First message in a year. <laughs> First time I've messaged this person in a year. Okay. Time to just... Time to just brag in Discord. In my Discord. Because there is no Discord for this game. I now get to brag to no one that cares. Because, well, I mean, no one runs this game, so... Did I? I haven't ended my recording yet. 